Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Elham Delzende and this video is Digital Twinning Construction Part 2. If you haven't watched our previous video on Digital Twinning Construction, please go ahead and watch that one first. These series of videos on Digital Twins are co-produced by Mustafa Al-Adhami. You can also read the full article on Cyber Reality X. If you would like to learn more about advanced digital technologies, building information modeling and digital project delivery in the world of construction, don't forget to subscribe to our Built Evolve channel. In this video, we will dig deeper into digital twin concept and application in the world of construction and talk about its requirements, characteristics and standards. Just to recap, a digital twin is a digital replica of a physical asset. It activates data to power better decision making. The most advanced digital twins bring the digital model closer and closer to the physical entity. They incorporate real-time data and analytics. So, on one side, there is a physical object, system or process, which is the physical twin. And on the other side, there is a digital imitation that contains static and dynamic data analysis and visualization of the data from the physical twin. It's hard to generalize and say what requirements a digital twin has. However, according to Smart Cities Council Australia and New Zealand, a digital twin must include the following data sets. Geometric and graphical data. Geospatial reference data. A set attributes, natural, physical, social, and economic. Management data real-time asset performance and utilization data. Let's say we have the physical twin and the digital twin and all the required data sets described. The next important step will be to store big data and analyze it. Data on its own does not create an added value to a product or system. It needs to be analyzed and visualized. Let's think about an example. Imagine a building or a room with a thermostat and sensors that record indoor and outdoor temperature every two minutes. The data is analyzed in real time and a request is sent to the physical twin of the HVAC system to optimize and control indoor temperature. So according to this scenario, Digital Twin, as a minimum, must provide the following capabilities. A live connection between the digital and physical world that allows data to flow from the physical twin to a unified virtual environment. Integration of data from various sources and across sectors. The ability to display real-time multi-source data across the whole project and a set operation life cycle. Federated data sets from various sources can be processed, modeled, analyzed and simulated to improve decision making. And high data security. Standards are fundamental basis of any project from concept to completion and beyond. Although currently there are no digital twin set standards in construction, there are a number of data standards that are relevant to digital twins. There are various standards for smart cities which have digital twin embedded in them. There are strategy, management, and data interoperability standards. 
substandards cover sections on data security, which are relevant to digital twins, and various building information modeling standards are again applicable to some aspects of digital twins. A quick summary of the key points about the term digital twin. It is a term, not a tool or software. A bridge between physical entities and digital environments. A digital representation of static and dynamic data. Digital twin platform can give insights beyond what currently exists in the built asset models. And digital twin facilitates better decision making. If you are curious to learn more about digital twins in the world of construction, the best reference I can give you is CDBB, Centre for Digital Built Britain, which is based in the University of Cambridge. Explore their website. Finally, special thanks to Mustafa Al Adhami and his article on Cyber Reality X. I hope you have enjoyed learning more about digital twins and have found this video informative and interesting. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comment section. And take care.